Yeah. Mr. Welch, can I have a moment something. of your time? You know, I'm at Santa Monica Airport, and they hired this new employee. He had this huge personality, and his name was Larry Welk. And I said, like, Lawrence Welk? He goes, well, that's my grandfather. What seems to be uh, the problem, baby and mama? <laughs> Pretty interesting, I guess, you know? <laughs> And he was remarkably one of the best pilots I've ever met. I ended up taking a job at the place where Bob and Marika parked their helicopter. Quickly, I learned that Los Angeles News Service wasn't what I perceived to be a traditional news service. This was a family organization. Okay. Infant kids, you know, were, were rolling into the airport. It was madness. There they are. Helicopter. Where, what do you see? What do you see? I see some people in yellow coats. I think they're firefighters. Do you see any helicopters? No, I do not. Oh, I was hook, line, and sinker. I just wanted to be a part of whatever they were doing. And when it was Bob, Marika, and myself on board, it was most likely because it was a time where Bob didn't have a pilot's license. So I basically was the license, okay? The pilot of a local television news helicopter is in trouble with the government tonight. The military wants action taken against the pilot, Bob Turr. I'm not sure how many times he got a suspension or a revocation. Bob was the first person that I had ever come into contact with who had that attitude of, I can do what I want. I love you, man. I love you, man. I'd be flying with Bob, and he'd be like, why are you following the freeway? The story's over there. Everybody's headed here. Who? TV one, five. TV. Well, if he has you in sight, why do you need to talk to him? Okay, Bob, Don't I'm sorry. Don't worry about flying. Here, here, I can fly. You, you no, you can't.